Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the I'm Talking Gaming Channel. I'm AJ Gels. Guys, we are back with more E3 videos. Um, I, I, wow, that was super weird. It's just like my brain just totally shut off for like two seconds there. <laughs> um, I, this video, I'm going to be doing um, some Assassin's Creed gameplay stuff. Um, though I'm still working on the weekly show. Um, it's just, there's tons of news I'm sifting through on trying to figure out how to group all of it together. So that, that'll probably be up tomorrow. Um, as opposed to today, I actually, I meant to do this video earlier today. Um, and actually I meant to do multiple videos today, but, uh, the problem with that was my dog kept barking overnight, kept waking me up. So, you know, the little thing, I don't, I don't know. It's like, I swear it hears like raccoons or something outside and it has to run and bark. Either way, this is going to be, um, Ashraf Ismail. Uh, the two people who are doing the pre-show, I, I can't remember this guy's name, they'll say it. Uh, they're going to be playing uh, Assassin's Creed Origins on Xbox One X, um, giving us a kind of a, lo a little bit of a deeper look at the gameplay. This is going to be, uh, I think, a, a half hour. Uh, and then we got a quick little like five-minute video uh, here from IGN, which um, shows uh, some of the uh, Gladiator stuff that uh, I'm actually really happy with. Cause I, if, if you know me... I really like gladiators. Like I like that history, and I like you know the Roman Colosseum. I find that stuff so fascinating. Um, yeah, I find these two. I, I really don't like these two. I kind of wish it was just these guys just talking over gameplay. These two kind of annoy me. It, it, it's this. It's the whole like kind of like game casting thing that it's oh we always have to be super excited and we have to be super. And let you don't get me wrong. I'm excitable and whatever, but I mean I'm not the. It's something about their presentation to me that just it just always feels fake, and I just I'm never a big fan about it. Or it's too overly happy, you know. It's uh, hey there, folks. What a show and what an ending, huh, guys? Wow, what that was amazing. amazing, fantastic. It was jam packed with great games, and we've got more great games to show you right now. Specifically, Assassin's Creed Origins. I'm Chris Waters, joined by Hanny Duong, Carl up, Lua, and Ash Ismail hey. from the. Assassin's Creed Origins team, and uh, let's get right into it, fellas, here. Without further ado, we've got 30 minutes of exploring the open world in Assassin's yes. Creed Origins. Yes, for sure. Um, so just to start off, so so we have the context. This is the, the demo we have uh, here at E3 uh, that we're letting people play. Um, just so everyone knows, this is, uh, this is a, a living game. We still have a ways to go uh, to finish off the game and completely polish it, so we might see some hiccups uh, along the way. But we fully assume that. We're super proud to be here to show it off. Uh, we've been working a long time on this, and, and it's finally exciting to, to be able to, to show it and have people play it and send us feedback. So, so here we're going to go. Carl is going to show off his uh, skills. His gazelle <laughs> rustling his, skills. Yeah. His gazelle skills. Uh, and here we're going to start with uh, a camp. So these camps, these are military locations. Uh, he's gonna use Senu, right? That's right. Senu. Senu she's is a, a beauty. Yeah, she's a beauty. <laughs> uh, she's a great scout. Uh, so, right now, Carl's using her to, to tag the enemies, but also tagging opportunities in the, in the camp. Now, the question might be, why would someone infiltrate such a location uh, outside of quests? So, there is a quest that actually takes place here. In the demo, we've disabled the quest so that we can focus on the world and what happens with the world. Mm -hmm. Later on, there's going to be more streams with quests so that uh, we can kind of spread the, the, the love, the content. But for now, we're just kind of cutting loose in the open world and exactly. uh, going to see what is in store for us here at this camp. Now, with the tagging, uh, I'm noticing, you know, one of the new features here is that levels are popping up yep. over the enemy's heads as you are tagging. Uh, yes. So uh, what, what can the player read into those levels as to what kind of challenge they're going to face? Yeah, so, so by going a lot more action RPG, uh, what's happening here is that right now Bayek is level 20 and he's facing off against enemies that are at an equivalent challenge. Mm -hmm. And so this would be considered a, a fair you know, challenge fight in this part of the world. Um, and we'll see that as, uh, we'll see later on, there's another camp with enemies that are level 25. And you'll see that the feedback is slightly different. This is to really clarify to people, levels matter, gear matters, uh, taking on higher level enemies. It's doable, mm -hmm. but they're tougher not only in stats, but they're also tougher in behavior. So the higher level they are, they have more capacities, more abilities, stronger weapons. So you might want to think twice before taking them exactly. on or get some better. 
the whole the whole level thing in this game it, that, again I, I i think i said this when i was doing the ubisoft press conference video that i'm seeing a lot of other assassin's creed games inside like kind of bits and pieces within this and right there when um he's talking about the level and how levels matter. That was something that I think they tried to do in Assassin's Creed Unity that never really worked out. I mean, yes, the levels mattered, but, like, in this one, uh, you'll we'll see in a little bit um, that you try and, like, if somebody's way over-leveled, over, you know, somebody's of a higher level than you, a st like, your um, stealth attack doesn't guarantee a kill. It, it'll, like, do heavy stealth damage, but it won't necessarily kill them. Then you'll end up in an actual fight which we'll see a little bit of that, um, but but uh, going back just just a little bit, when you saw um, him take out that gourd, right, that not gourd guard right there in that corner, then he draws the bow, fires, uh, knocks out the other guy on the other side of that the entrance that he took. Um, I, I think we, we keep seeing this, that the uh, the the bow mechanics are very different than what they've been in the past. It, it's a lot more. Um, I I don't know exactly how to phrase this it's a lot more in depth than it, it's a lot more of an in-depth firing mechanic than it has been in the past in the past it's really been um geez i, I I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly how it works and how it always kind of worked in the past but i mean you i think you always had to stand still you can never move and aim or whatever it was always just uh I think 4 was about the most active firing system in any of the AC games. Um, but this system that they're using right here actually reminds me a lot more of, um, uh, like, Horizon. So, I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be exactly like Horizon or as good. I'm just saying it reminds me a lot more of that as opposed to um, firing bows in old Assassin's Creed games. Gear, or just light your arrows on fire, yes. apparently. What are you doing there, Carl? I think I'm going to cause a little bonfire down here. Why not? Because it's not hot enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just a little more warmth from the bonfire. Yeah. Speaking of which, my feet are on fire. We are in the middle of the yeah, sun it is, right It here. is really hot out <laughs> we here. We suffer for your entertainment Listen, viewers. this is the, the live streaming <laughs> equivalent of method acting is, you know, we Hayek is warm right now. You think that hood is like, you know, yeah. keeping him cool? That that hood is warm. <laughs> and and I will say for the, oh God, for the fans light. out there who Oh, the lion's oh, attacking the horse. Attack the horse. He's got a snack on well, some horse meat. it is a distraction. Meat. He's <laughs> been caged up for a just... while. So th that's something that we fully embrace in here. So all the NPCs of the world, all the humans, all the animals, they have a full life in the world. They have needs. They have wants. Uh, animals, uh, you know, they, they hunt, they sleep, they find shade. Uh, so in this case, this lion has been captured and been put in uh, a cage. And... At this point, it becomes an opportunity for the player. It, you can't always guarantee it, but um, okay. So these guys are—they sense something. They've seen a lion getting released. They've seen. <laughs> kind of hard to miss that one. <laughs> yeah, a fire. There you go, Carl. Know something's going well done. Done. Well done. All right. Nice job, Carl. Thank there you. we go. So Gwyneth we just picked away. up a, a bow. So this is something that's really important uh, in uh, in Assassin's Creed Origins. It's gear. Um, oh, <gasps> Goodbye, lion. Terrible. He was he was so kind to you. Wow. He attacked Helping the you. horse. He should have been attacking. No real horse. lions were harmed. Out of the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> so so we picked up a bow, and we it's saw that it was a, it was oh a blue bow, which means that it's a common weapon. So mm -hmm. rarities do matter in this game. Yeah. Uh, the more rare uh, the equipment is, the more attributes it has, the more properties it has. So as opposed to just does does some more damage, it cannot have other properties. Uh, like what is an example? Exactly. So, so other properties could be things like poison tipped. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, be, being able to generate adrenaline. Adrenaline is a is a concept. Uh, it's a resource in the, the combat system that allows uh, Bayek to unleash uh, a fury of attacks or or just devastating, overpowering attacks. And you can build adrenaline through the combat system. And uh, some weapons charge differently than others, so this is part of the depth of the combat that we want players to, to mess around with. And this is a whole new combat system, you guys. Boom, headshot. It's, it's way different than the, oh. the feeling before of not sort of being yet. an assassin. He feels it. He's dazed. Take him out. Poor guy. Helmet. Poor guy. Oh, he's... Ooh, he can cover some ground. So this guy's a commander. That's the, the gold icon. Uh-oh. Not for long. There we go. There yeah. we go. Dead. <laughs> So there we go. So killed. So here we found a Very second killed. bow. So in a military location, uh, military locations are great for finding equipment mm -hmm. uh, and new gear. 
Uh, aside from playing quests, these are also places to to be able to, to upgrade bike with new uh, new weapons. Loot all that. So here we found a bow. Oh, we leveled up, uh, which oh, gives right. ability points. So we'll, we'll check that out in a second. Check it out now. Yeah, and we found a shield. Oh, cool. Nice All right, so here we're Carl. looking at sort of the the skill tree, and I s I'm seeing three different yeah. branches. Yeah, it's it's more of a graph. Uh, what okay. that means is there are flavors. So on the one side, we, we, what you see here is the uh, the master seer. This is more the abilities that are aligned with uh, manipulation. Mm -hmm. So manipulating the environment, uh, animals, and uh, NPCs. Uh, in the center, we have the warrior aspect, which is really delving deep into fight. And uh, the hunter aspect, which is more the stealthy approach of being an assassin or being a ranger. And the idea is players can dedicate themselves or go through the graph however they want. That's why it's a graph, because they can actually uh, kind of spread themselves as they wish. They can really craft their own uh, their own assassin. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can even focus on one area. If you want to be the absolute ultimate warrior, yeah. the ultimate, ultimate warrior, warrior. You, can, you can dedicate yourself. So the last ability on each graph, uh, you can keep pumping points into it. Uh, so you can really become that super powerful archetype that you wish to play. You just got to chase down a fluorescent outfit and you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> so what kind of player would you be, Ash? What's your personal favorite style? Uh, personally, well, we should we should get Carl to, to buy something here. We go for the Enhanced Warrior Bow. Enhanced Warrior Bow. The Warrior Bow is super cool. We haven't seen it yet, so maybe we should switch to it if we can. Yep. We did pick up a few new bows, right? Yeah, yeah we should yeah, check yeah, out the new gear. Check out our gear. Definitely check out the new gear. So uh, in terms of my, my style, I would I would say I'm somewhere between hunter and warrior. I can't choose one or the other. I sometimes prefer stealth, sometimes prefer just duking it out with the guys. Um, that's my style. But that, that's one thing we wanted to cater to is that we have uh, a lot of fans who either play stealth or play uh, pure mm -hmm. combat. It depends and on the mood. we wanted to give them a control over that. Yeah. So here we can see that Carl put on a new bow. Uh, you also had a new shield. Put on the shield, put on the shield. Let's new see. everything. New shield. bow, new is shield. Is it really going to be better? Let's have a look. Oh, oh, yeah. It's way better. So oh, you wow. can see the, the shield adds to, to the player's resistance. Okay. It was quite significant. And we can see it has a property, which is that um, when you block uh, a hit, you generate adrenaline. Mm -hmm. So the yeah. idea is with gear, you can actually start crafting, again, the way you fight, the way you stealth. We can see the crafting at the bottom there. Uh, so just, just like combat, there's no longer this concept that you can one-shot assassinate just anybody. Mm -hmm. Enemies that are higher level, you'll do stealth damage, but if you want to one-shot them, be that true lethal assassin, you have to craft better hidden blades. You gotta work hard at it. Or, and now we're going for a little boat ride. Yeah. Just yeah, trying to cool down in the sea, which I wish I could do right now, because <laughs> I am on fire. <laughs> Pretty hot. So this is the amazing <laughs> tech Singapore has been working on the water. I think it's some of the most beautiful water in it's any gorgeous. game. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's completely seamless. You, we can at some point we'll dive underneath. For, for now, um, you know we have an island here. Let's maybe at some point explore the island. Well, this lake is really big. Yeah, can we just get a sort of look at how yeah, sure. how big this is? So this great. is one Take of the a things. look at this lake. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. You I'm can see the the, the the draw distance are absolutely stunning. Yeah. This is for you folks watching. This is running on the Xbox One X. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it, it's really allowing us to showcase what we can push with our engine, the beauty of the world. We really want to do Egypt justice and 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 show it off. Show off our artists. Show off our, our technical uh, technical people, our programmers who who bring this to life. It's gorgeous. So here we can see some boats in the distance. This uh, this bigger ship here. There's there's always opportunities. The, the world is alive. Mm -hmm. You know, fishermen are out catching fish. They'll take their their goods to to shore, to docks, take them to the markets, go home and sleep at night. And there's always opportunities for the player here. All right, out for a little swim. And you mentioned <laughs> underwater. Uh, let's let's take a little dive. <laughs> okay, let's take sure, a little let's dive. Go down. Take a look. Uh, you know, I there see something dangerous. Off in the horizon there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, what is that? It's a hippo. Oh, man, do we have other He looks creatures? pretty friendly. Let's get closer. <laughs> See what happens. That's a good idea. Very good idea. Or not. Carl has a great track record <laughs> with animals, so uh, <laughs> nothing could go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but you've, so heard, you you've heard about his stories from Singapore, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here, so, so Ooh, this is a location. Uh, the reason there's loot here, the question might be, why is there loot here? 
the Why reason there's there here be? is actually this island. Um, it's uh, it's where the Ptolemies, so the the guard force, mm -hmm. they use this island as a way to uh, to stop, to take a break, to to actually refill on some of their stocks. Yeah, like mm -hmm. And uh, so here we can see there's actually a guard on the other side who's been killed by what? I don't know, but. Uh, Maybe the hippo. Not a hippo. No, he, he's a good guy. I <laughs> think we should say nice, hi. Nice dude. <laughs> he's a nice dude. Oh, I got a spear. You got a spear? Use the spear. Switch the spear. Okay, let's switch. Yeah, because that's the thing. We've seen sort of that uh, that short curved sword in yeah, action. The yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's there there is a variety of weapons, and the sort of the reach of the longer weapons is going to affect how you are in combat. Exactly. Uh, so so we have uh, a ton of types of weapons. So eight melee weapons, uh, four types of bows, uh, and this is just the types. Then within them, there's levels, attributes, properties, and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, and of course, it's, it's a completely sim seamless system you here. We're using the bow in water. You should get in um, closer, Carl, and see what happens. Like, is those it birds, if Carl, if Carl was good, he can shoot <laughs> those birds down. I got other problems right now. Let me deal with this uh, angry beast. They're just trying to say hi. Okay. You know? I, I feel like you're engaging it on its home turf. Like, maybe they're slower on land. You don't want to. Oh, God. And he's using the spear. Oh, no! <laughs> you're smacking the hippo with oh, your spear. Oh, man. poor hippo. What if it's a mama? Now, you know what? Oh, now you've got Carl. him angry. He just wanted to say hi. Oh I think boy. if it's a mama, oh Carl's in even more trouble. So I really like how the blood is interacting with the water, how it, it doesn't um, it doesn't look like it's just coming out of the animal. Like It actually looks like it's mixing with the water and acting in uh, real life. Um, again, I like the whole I like the whole idea with the weapons. I like the fact that you can use them in water. I like the... I, I'm, I'm liking the com what I'm seeing out of the combat just because it seems a lot more like an active process than just uh, pressing a button or um, what it was in the original in 2, which was just defend and you'll just start uh, blocking and killing things. So I'm, I'm again, I'm, I'm really liking what I'm seeing out of this. Um, I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be a phenomenal game just off of about this 30 minutes or however much I've seen. But uh, it's looking really good. Everything's looking like it's uh, it's looking pretty sharp. The uh, combat animations, especially with the spear, look a tad stiff. But again, like Ashaf said at the beginning, um, they're still in um, pre-production. So, or not, maybe not pre-production. That's not the right word. It's it's like what this is an, yeah this is an alpha. So it's not a it's not running at full strength. I would assume right now. But I mean, still, I'm 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 super impressed by what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, keep circling you're, it. You're vicious, yeah. No hippos were harmed in the making of this demo. No, it's no actual hippos no were actual harmed hippos. in the making of Assassin's Creed. This Creator one's Rogers. being harmed, though. <laughs> there we go. All right, so when you loot a hippo, what are you what are you gaining from this beast? So, <laughs> <laughs> what was the purpose of this massacre? Did you ever think he would say that sentence yeah. <laughs> in public? Uh, so animals. Uh, so, so the fauna of Egypt. Whoa. Is, uh, <laughs> okay. I always said borrow. Throw that guy off his boat. Them all. Yeah. Poor guy. Sorry. So this is. Sorry, buddy. There's a hippo just over there. Careful, that. You can you'll, use a corpse as a float. You'll this be fine. This is Carl style. This is Carl style. Uh, so. Uh, obviously, Egypt, it's, re it's, it's very well known for its, its fauna, its, its wildlife, and we need it to represent that properly here. Um, and then we have to say, well, it matters to the player on some level. So this is part of the progression system. So you gain materials that you would use to, to craft uh, some of your gear. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so that's... <laughs> oh! oh! You're just a shit no, starter, no, aren't you, Carl? This military, it's all right. These are military dudes. Oh, <laughs> oh put, uh, put He's on, on fire, fire now. Fire. Okay. Ooh, oh, fire on a here. boat. That's uh, that's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, the fisherman's coming in dangerously. Oh boy. Is someone else mixing it up over there? There we go. Oh, oh, oh now oh, the boat's no, on fire. It's coming for me though. He knew that his boat was in trouble. I better leave. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave him to tread water. Yeah. So you know what? If, if the situation was slightly different, I love Carl how this guy's was, just along for the ride. He's yeah, just in front of you, like, what chilling. is happening? Yeah. <laughs> the guy's just chilling. The thing is, Bayek is a Magi. Mm -hmm. They are protectors of Egypt. Uh, they're protectors of the, the Egyptian way of life. And Egyptians have a high respect for Magi's, and they uh. go to them for help. This is actually feeds into the questing system, actually. So, as a Magi, he respects them. He's going to mm -hmm. let him take his boat for a ride. You do you, Bayek. You do you. <laughs> 
set boats on fire. I like it too, because he's not like, obviously the boat's important to that dude. Like, it's probably his livelihood. He's like, look, man, you can you can take this wherever you want, but I am I need it when you're done. <laughs> yeah, just be sure you bring it back in one for a bit. He'll even wait a bit. Eventually, he'll leave, but he'll wait a bit for now. He's watching me, Kevin. So courteous. Like, so hey, courteous. in case you need a getaway vehicle, I'm here, bro. It's exactly, cool. exactly. <laughs> So, so here, this is this is another military camp, but this one's slightly different. This one's a wharf. Uh, here, what we what we wanted to show is just what it's like to take on enemies that are much higher level. So mm -hmm. here, we'll see some guards. So there's some in the front gate there. So level 25, you see that the badge is red, which is kind of telling the player, yes, you can try. You can try. Try your best. You Take a run at him. Give it a shot. But it's going to be a very difficult fight because you're you're not at their level just yet. Eventually, with by by going through quests, by completing locations in the world, uh, you will level up enough. So I would recommend just <laughs> yeah, Carl. Trying. Carl, what's your plan here? Are you going to take yeah. on this How are you challenge? Do this? Let's. Oh, this guy's. Oh, he's he looks vulnerable. So let's try a headshot. <laughs> he's alone. Let's try a headshot, see how much damage it does. Oh, goodness, it's not going to do a lot. He's going to swat a fly. Yeah, he is, oh, he is no. tough. Yeah, oh, no. tough. Just a little scratch. Yeah. Get up on him, all right. Got this, got the spear. Oh, Working okay. it in close quarters. And come on, get him, Carl. Oh, boy, here we go. I believe in you, Carl. You he can, can take him. He can take him. Honestly, he can do it. Carl, Carl's been practicing. He's very good at the game. <laughs> oh goodness! Yeah, look at that one hit. A, like a stun almost happening. Is that a oh. heavy hit? That oh no! Oh. Oh. Lord. You get enough uh. for effort. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, two hits from me. <laughs> okay. So look, the game is live. This yeah. Is, you know we. This we is take, real gameplay. Exactly. Yeah, we we take uh, you know we take games very seriously in the sense of we. You know, we want this to be the, the representation of the game as it is. We want players to see where it is today. So, yes, in a demo playthrough, Carl died you in front of everybody. You can get killed. <laughs> but so I've learned my lesson. You don't have to rub it in, Ash. <laughs> in front of everybody. I've learned my lesson, and I'll just keep moving on. The level 25 is too, too high. Let's give uh, them a wide berth now. And uh, so you're coming in, you're look, sort of leaving the wharf and coming. Oh, oh hey, buddy. Yeah, so Carl our friend. called for for his mount. And does this horse have a name? Yes, or is believe, it a horse with believe, no name? <laughs> <laughs> I believe uh, this horse is uh, named uh, Amun Re. Amun Re. So, He's very but, handsome. Um, or she. A beautiful horse. Yeah. Uh, so Senu is, uh, is our eagle companion. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, though, we wanted that mounts was uh, something that the player can actually collect more and more mounts, purchase more and more mounts. And we have many different types of mounts. So there's horses, oh, no many shit. types of beautiful horses but also camels and eventually chariots. Uh, Am I the only one hoping that we get to ride a lion? Like have, like have a lion mount? I think that would be cool. Camels. Uh, yeah, and they all have their value. And uh, so so you can actually have different types of horses. Uh, Senu being the, the, the eagle companion that stays with you through the journey. Uh, so there we go. So we have... Uh, we have this beautiful black horse here. Does the camel black have stallion. a spit attack? Because I hear they do that. <laughs> a spit attack, no, but I, but you can rear with the horse. You can rear with the horse. The camel... Get the hooves in there. <laughs> so we're sort of skirting the shoreline here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is... You guys have built, as you were saying uh, in the presentation, this is a country, you know? This is exactly. not just one city. So what actually, kind of region are we in? Yeah, actually, before before we go in, so so here we found uh, Umeria, which is, uh, w which is uh, a port village. Um, actually, maybe I'll ask Carl to, to go to the, the map. Sure. You can go to the map just to kind of give a general spacing of the world. So so we're, so this is the lake that we've seen with Senu. If we keep zooming out, Keep zooming out. This is the this wow. is the, the aspect of the demo. The lake is where the demo takes place. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Since we were riding a bit north of it earlier, we started we started around here. Yeah, so. that's why that's how we unfog the world by visiting the world. You unfog it, but just to give a breadth of this country that we've built. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, yeah. Move around just to show <laughs> it's. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. It's it it keeps Ginormous. going. Enormous. It's absolutely massive. Up to Alexandria in the north. Yeah, yeah Alexandria. Nice. There's the Giza Delta. Desert. The Nile Delta. The Giza Plateau, Memphis, the ancient city of Memphis, and it goes on. Then there's Fayum, uh, Crocodopolis down in the south. Crocodopolis. The, the <laughs> yes, yes. Real What's, city. I like that place, Thieves Land. Who do you? Th who, what's going on? Does anybody ever go there? Really honest it's people. Like I not. think no, daring, you don't go down. daring players should go there. <laughs> there's a lot of cool stuff in it for them. 
so just to give an idea that that we you know this is a country Egypt is um, it's such a majestic setting and we've dreamed of going to this place and so when we started and we decided we're going to Egypt we we understood that it was gonna be uh, you know a labor of love it was gonna it was gonna push us to develop new technologies to build such a, a crazy big world and then to even populate the world with all these people that actually have agendas and purpose. Mm -hmm. For example, these, these people over here are being attracted by an event, if, if Carl would look at it. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, Egypt is hard. Egypt, uh, it was a, a tough life. Place. Let's investigate. Slapping him. This has nothing to do with you. Back away. The boy will get what he deserves. I serve so big. I serve so big. I am a slave. Boy, what are you accused of? I was charged with ferrying two gold sobecks to Crocodilopolis. Just out of port, my ship sank by the lighthouse. I almost drowned. The statues were lost. I didn't steal them. Silence! And you, step back, say it. Wait, do not threaten me, Neb. I am a Magi. If the boy speaks the truth, I will find your gold sobecks. If he lies, he is yours to deal with. So here we we got a little bit of a taste of, of Bike's personality mm -hmm. and his attitude towards these masked masked priests that have used their power. Them. And this is a, a side quest. So uh, our players can expect uh, this this type of quality, you know, cinematics, great characters uh, in the optional content in the side quest. And we we have hundreds of stories to tell. Egypt was a, a really wonderful place. Then we found so much amazing stories that we wanted a way to be able to tell them, and the quest structure allowed us to do that. But Very again, cool. we're saving the quest stuff for, for other streams, for, for YouTubers out there. So uh, so for now, we'll continue with uh, playing Our through the world. Our open world shenanigans. Yeah, uh, if you folks are just joining us, we're playing Assassin's Creed Origins on the Xbox One X uh, with Ash and Carl from the uh, Assassin's Creed Origins dev team. I'm Chris, this is Hanny, and uh, we'll be doing this for about 10 more minutes, so stick around. We've got plenty of open world uh, stuff to show you and some explorations here as Senu scouts out some more locations. So, She's a good girl. So here, actually, I'm going to ask Carl to not stealth this one. Uh, uh, the reason we're showing these different locations, different camps and warps, is actually we wanted to show a bit of stealth, we want to show a bit of fight, so I'm going to ask Carl All right, well, to, what, what do we got in our arsenal here? One. He needs to earn some redemption. <laughs> oh, yeah, OK. He needs to this earn time redemption. with this uh, one, Carl. Okay, okay let's give it a try. For the okay, here I come, out the bushes. Are you going in with the spear? Uh, I'll just shoot him in the chest first to wake him up. <laughs> That'll Good wake up call. There we go. Wake nice. Okay, all right, all right. Nice dodge. Come on, call. Redeem yourself. Boom. Nice job so far. At some point, yes. just to show the... the One more the, hit and he's dead. <laughs> the yes. versatility yes. of the fight. We can... You can take out your bow. There we go, dynamically in the nice. fight. And oh, oh, my headshot. God, that's, Bravo. That guy's huge. Bravo. All right, now, is he close to filling up his adrenaline oh, meter here? Yes. He seems like that might it's, be helpful It's getting there. It's getting there. I'm trying to use it on the big dude. Hey, he is humongous. There we go. Okay, just just get in there. Unleash. There we go. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. We're going to see Carl. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Vicious. Nice. Vicious. Impaled. Very good. Very good. <laughs> that was. Oh, you beautiful. done good, Carl. Oh, no. Oh, oh, <laughs> through the boy. throat that time. Nice. <laughs> nice job, Carl. You killed <laughs> thank it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now give us a little broader context. Who are these dudes that Bayek is uh, dispatching with such yeah. a ash? So, so this is. We're, we're in, the, in the era of the Ptolemies. So these are Ptolemaic guards. Um, they, they work for the people that Bayek is, is, is going after. And when I say going after, Effectively, Bayek is unraveling a mystery, mm -hmm. and he doesn't know who who these characters are that he's after. And so he comes to this place. He's actually looking for a contact to gain some info to lead him to eventually uh, his targets. And these are the Ptolemy guards who f who work for these people. Uh, Bayek, being a, an Egyptian, uh, uh, a Magi, mm -hmm. he doesn't have a very good alignment with these people. Uh, they, represent, uh, yes, they represent <laughs> really uh, like the evil forces no. that are destroying his homeland. Uh, so, it's anyway, so uh, these are the people he's after. This area of the world, just to say, if we take a look around, yeah, Carl, this is a beautiful shot Let's of the, get, the world. Carl, give us a slow pan here. So yeah. this is this is well, the actually, there's, a, there's a reach eye point, so we can get a better view from there. Yeah. So All we're right. gonna do a, a viewpoint. A viewpoint. We'll do now the viewpoint. Just for a sec, we're seeing, uh, you know some serious climbing here, a hallmark of the Assassin's Creed franchise, but that rock didn't have any like obvious hand hold, hold, holds on it. Like, what's the approach to climbing in Origins? 
Uh, so the climbing, actually, before before we, we synchronize, just to look around. So pretty. Uh, so the climbing in Origins, it's um, uh, so so first we've revamped the controls, uh, the fluidity of the character. Uh, we've gotten a lot of positive feedback already from the people who've played the build that, that feel like the assassin is really responsive, listening to them, doing what they want. Mm -hmm. And we pushed that to the climbing where we said, you know what? Uh, we should be able to climb any surface we want. So so we've created a tech for 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 bike when he's climbing to be able to put his hands and footholds into crevices and so on on any surface. Uh, so effectively to be able to climb anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted you know uh, as as the most seamless experience that we can have. Here you can see the world is absolutely beautiful. See that all that distance, that top peak in the distance. You know we could just go there at some point if we wish to. Uh, swimming by boat, by camel, whatever, and, we, and there's free. secrets up there for us. There's really I cool love stuff. secrets. There's really cool <laughs> discoveries um, to find. Here, why don't, why don't we synchronize? So here, the world is, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, kudos to our artists, our engineers, our technical so artists. Um, you know, this this world is something. Absolutely, and you know, so synchronizing, you know, historically is sort of a way to learn more about an area, sort of clear the fog from the area. Yeah. But you mentioned earlier, the fog clears by you just, you just traveling through the area. Yeah, exactly. So we wanted to keep the idea of the, we wanted to keep the, the viewpoints mm -hmm. uh, as an homage to, to the series. Leap of uh, faith, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Maybe we can explore a bit, walk through yeah. the area a little bit, just to give a flavor of the, the village life. Villages are great places to to pick up quests, mm -hmm. to, to go to shops, to uh, and obviously there are many quests inside villages. Uh, these are hubs of content. Um, but anyway, so, oh, we're actually, we're in a red zone right now. Uh, uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, well, now the life. fleeing technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'd, I'd recommend fleeing, maybe. Or you can fight. Or you can fight. He's feeling strong from his last encounter. Yeah. Yep. He's digging that. Real confidence. Mixing, uh, melee and now we're, sort of, we're busting out the warrior's bow here. That was a skill we unlocked earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good yeah, point, switch, good point. Switch the warrior bow. So the warrior bow, it's effectively oh, our, shit. Yeah, our shotgun bow. He shoots five arrows at once. There we go. Oh, oh my god, wow. deadly, Bravo. beautiful, very efficient. It shoots five arrows at once. Uh, so when we talk about attributes and properties, you can actually find bows that you can actually have more arrows on them. You can set them on fire by default. Mm -hmm. um, so this this actual this compound here, it's actually part of uh, part of a quest. Uh, don't want to ruin the quest for people, but this is somebody's home that's been uh, let's say uh, confiscated, and uh, Bayek will eventually uh, have to have to help those people. Oh, that's a porcupine. That's, <laughs> that's a lot of arrows, but you can recover. It looks like you're recovering yeah. that. Yeah, 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 you can pick up your arrows. Uh, that, that and that ranged that combat, that with? focus on sort of, uh, you know, assassins have had ranged weapons in the past before, yeah. but with the bows in Origins, you guys are really trying to expand that. Yeah, yeah, we, we, it, it's a, it's a full-blown third-person shooter on that element. It's, um, we, we really wanted that the play styles we push so range combat, melee, stealth, that this stuff uh, feels authentic. And if you just want to focus on that, that the game will fully support it and will go deep into that. So, so we've really pushed ourselves to, to develop these gameplays. Uh, the shooting feels great. The bows feel amazing. Uh, and there's a bunch of bows we haven't shown. There's the predator bow, which is kind of like a sniper. Oh, uh, little can kitty. we talk about yes, the cat? A little oh kitty. my god, there's, there's a cat! cat. <laughs> 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 this is such a great way to wrap this up. Like, we just saw a cat in ancient Egypt. Come on, in guys. ancient Egypt, more, and, and you know what? what? Cats are very important can in ancient Egypt. It? Can you pet it? So, so here, look. <laughs> so see? Okay, look. So systemically, you know, as I said, animals really oh. live in this world. Mm -hmm. And so this cat has, for some reason, an affection towards Bayek. He loves you. <laughs> or she. Or she's sticking around. Reciprocate. Oh, look at that. Oh look at she loves them. She loves them. Carl, we made As her. I said, we've, yeah. we've put a lot of effort on, on animals and their needs and what they do in the world. <laughs> yeah. I love that she appeared near the end of this stream. This it's is amazing. Fantastic yeah, moment. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Ash, this has been so great. Carl, thank you for showing off the game. Uh, there's a lot more to come this yeah. week, and uh, but it must be really exciting for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a long journey for us. It's absolutely wonderful to, to be able to show off the game and, and have people play it, get their feedback, uh, see their excitement. Uh, I'm super, super proud of the team and, and w what we've achieved. 
Um, kudos to to the Singapore team, to the Montreal team, to all the all the teams that are working on this game, uh, all over the world. With many people supporting us. Um, it's it's a really wonderful, exciting time for us, and I can't wait for our, our fans to to play this. Absolutely, and they'll get to play it uh, at E3 here, but yes. uh, later this year, October 27th is October, the release date. Yes, October 27th, so October 27th on PS4 Pro, PS4, Xbox, PC, mm -hmm. and uh, of course a launch title for Xbox One X. Fantastic. Well, if you folks want more Assassin's Creed... All right, there we go. That's about the end of that one. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking everything that I'm seeing out of that. Uh, game really cannot wait uh, for October. Uh, let's, let's close this one out. Um, uh, I, I've seen a little bit of this one, maybe a minute. I haven't seen the entire thing. So let's, uh, let's do some uh, gladiator stuff. See right here. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. It, the hand-to-hand uh, -hand com or the the weapon combat, whatever you want to say, call it. It, it, it looks a lot more. I don't want to say the word complex. Uh, I, I think they really tried to make uh, combat more difficult in uh, AC Unity. Uh, I know how much you're playing. The game is not very well. Uh, I think part of it might have been if the combat was a little bit hot. You know, they tried changing it up and they wanted a little bit more classic when they made uh, Syndicate. But I think I think this is almost a full realization of what they were trying to do. This almost seems like it's a uh, very much uh, more like an action RPG. Again, it kind of reminds me of the Witcher where it's more focused on timing and dodging and blocking attack as opposed to just attack. I really like the uh, in the in the last video part of the video. I, I really like how we're no longer we no longer have to look for handholds when we try and climb things. It's kind of do you think you can climb it? Well, you can climb it. I, I really like that concept. I think that's something that this series is kind of missing. It's kind of a, well, I should be able to climb this object or this building or this tree or whatever. So, so it's, really, it's really neat to kind of see if you can able to do that more, more fluid system. Like, fast.
think are Romans in this game. Is, is this during the... I'm trying to remember. I'm, I'm trying to remember my history. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I, my, my, Egyptian, my knowledge of Egyptian history is very limited, as is. And my knowledge of Roman history, like time period, is also pretty weak. Um... Wasn't there a time where, wasn't there a time during Caesar that the uh, Romans occupied Egypt? They didn't occupy, but they were there. Like, I, like I've seen throughout trailers and throughout just little hints of gameplay here and there. Like, I'm, I'm seeing, you know, the red kind of Centurion but I'm not sure. I, I could be totally wrong, like I said, remembering history. Um, Incorrectly. Like I said, the video was from uh, IGN. Usually, I, I, I don't like to use other... Like I keep saying, I know they're a news outlet, but I, I'm not... I don't like using other channels' content in my videos. Um, I prefer to pull it directly from the source, like this one was directly from Ubisoft. Um, I'll, I'll finish my point before I wrap everything up. Um, yeah, it's like I said, like I, I, I keep seeing hints and little bits and pieces of maybe the Romans are in this game. Um... I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to play. Cannot wait uh, for Assassin's Creed Origins. October 23rd, I believe, is the release date. Let's see, is it uh, in the description? No, it is not. Of course it isn't. I uh, just want to say, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll have some more E3 videos up uh, maybe tonight, uh, the next day or so. Um just more leftover E3 news. Just want to say thank you. Wait, I already said thank you. Whatever, I'll say it again. Thanks for watching. Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links to all those are in the description below. Please remember to like, comment. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more U uh, E3 stuff, uh, Let's Play videos, what have you, uh, next time. But until then, I'm AJ Gales. This is the Elmthar Gaming Channel. I'm out.